All right, recruits, today's mission is dangerous, it's messy, and yes, it's math. Our target is the cubic equation. K cubed plus K equals 30. Now, don't roll your eyes. Cubic equations are like villains in a superhero movie. They look harmless at first, but if you underestimate them, they'll smack you with complex numbers before you can even say calculator. So here's the plan. We don't waste time, we strike immediately. First move, rewrite it in the standard enemy form. Subtract 30 from both sides, and now we have k cubed plus k minus 30 equals zero. Target locked. Moving on, every good spy has a toolkit, and ours is the rational root theorem. Think of it like the FBI's most wanted list for possible roots. Since the constant is negative 30, the suspects are all the factors of 30. Plus or minus 1, plus or minus 2, plus or minus 3, plus or minus 5, plus or minus 6, plus or minus 10, plus or minus 15, and plus or minus 30. One of these numbers is guilty. Now let's interrogate them. When k equals 1, it leaves us with negative 28, not 0. When k equals 2, it gives us negative 20. Still wrong. And then, oh, look at this. When k equals 3, substituted in, we get 27 plus 3 minus 30, which equals 0. Ladies and gentlemen, we got them. Our first real root. Mark it down. k equals 3. Now, here's what happens next. The story takes a twist. If 3 is a root, then k minus 3 is a factor. So we strip it down with synthetic division. And when the lock clicks, we're left with k squared plus 3k plus 10. So the equation is now open parentheses k minus 3, close parentheses, times open parentheses k squared plus 3k plus 10, close parentheses, equals 0. We already neutralized the first threat. Now it's time to face the mini boss, that quadratic. Now quadratic formula time. You know the drill, negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Here, a equals 1, b equals 3, c equals 10. Let's run it. 3 squared is 9, subtract 40, and we get negative 31. That means we're stepping out of the real world and into the complex universe. Now let's talk about what that means. Since the discriminant is negative, we introduce i, the imaginary unit. With it, the remaining solutions are k equals negative 3 plus i times the square root of 31 all over 2, and k equals negative 3 minus i times the square root of 31 all over 2. So the final treasure map gives us three roots, one real, k equals 3, and two complex, negative 3 plus i times the square root of 31 over 2, and negative 3 minus i times the square root of 31 over 2. Mission complete.